everyone and welcome back to my channel thank you so much for joining me today uh, in today's video we are talking about how to overcome negative thoughts how to overcome negative thoughts if this is the kind of content that interests you please make sure you go ahead and subscribe turn on your notifications so that you can be notified every time I'm uploading thank you so much for joining me and let's get into today's video so in today's video how to overcome negative thoughts we have to realize that thoughts whatever thoughts that we have will eventually become our functional reality whatever things that you are thinking in your mind and in your head and in your heart you will behave like that you will um it will shape your movement it will shape the way you move the way you talk the way you behave your character because of how you think all right so sometimes in life we will get hit by negative thoughts you know you will get hit by thoughts of i will never become i will never do this i will never achieve this or i will always be like this i will always be depressed i will always um be it's even generalizing over generalizing you know maybe somebody hurt you in the past or you know a man hurt you in the past or they violated you or they abused you and you are always thinking men will always be like this there is never a good man in the world like they, they you know you are always thinking negative because maybe something happened at, uh, to you when you were young and when you were little and negative thoughts are not good for us because they will always shape our 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 life they will always shape the way we do things they will determine how we see life in general all right so if you are at this place you have negative thoughts and you don't know how to overcome them i'm going to give you four questions that you should always ask yourself if you want to overcome negative thoughts four questions the first one is what are you fixating on what are you fixing your eyes on or what is your focus where is your focus for example if your focus is on people maybe you are always spending time in social media all right and in social media social media can be a place of inspiration a place of um socialization and all those good stuff but it can also be a place where we are most uh, where we get the most uh, anxiety depression anger and all that because we are always tempted to compare ourselves to compare our real life with somebody else's highlight reel so if you're looking to uh, um, you're looking at people and what they have and what they they are doing with their lives and what they have already achieved and the things that they have and the beautiful families they have and the good jobs that they have and the good mansions that they live in and the beautiful and, and big companies they have built and you're looking at people and what they have then you will not escape feeling some type of way about yourself you know feeling oh i cannot do that oh i cannot achieve that oh i don't have that oh i I will not be able to get what they have because your eyes are on the wrong things your eyes are on people you know your eyes are fixated on on people or another example if you're always looking to people to validate you to affirm you or you're always looking for to people to appreciate you and they are not appreciating you they people are not um, appreciating the value that you that you have or people reject you generally you will always be thinking I am not valued I am not loved I am not worthy forgetting that you know Stephen uh, speak says that you will never be good enough for the wrong people and that is to mean that if people don't appreciate your value that doesn't mean that you're not valuable if people don't appreciate your value that doesn't mean that you're not it is not about you it is about them not being the right people to see the value that you have inside for example if you are selling shoes 
you're a business person you have set up a shop where you're selling men's shoes you cannot complain that ladies don't come to your shop why because what you're offering they are not the right people for what you're offering for the value that you're adding so they will not come to buy maybe except for those that will come to buy for their husbands or dads and all that but many ladies will not come because that is not the kind of value that they need all right so when people don't appreciate your value that is not to say that you're not valuable it is not about you and what you're you're not it is about them not being the right people to see it and to appreciate it so if you're looking for people to validate you and they are not doing that and to clap for you and to appreciate you your eyes are on that your whatever you do maybe you do it on on social media you you're posting good pictures and people are not liking it people are not following you people are not um appreciating you you will always feel oh i am not good enough i am not smart enough i am not beautiful enough I'm not appreciating this because your eyes are on the wrong things so i want you to ask yourself today what are you looking at where are you fixated on what is your focus is your focus on people is your focus on things or is your focus on god Philippians 4 8 says whatever things are true whatever things are trustworthy whatever things are noble whatever things are, are are good think about such things think about such things whatever things are true and where does the truth come from what is the truth the truth is found in the Word of God in the Bible you will never find truth outside there the truth is in the Word of God looking at what the word of god says about you or who god says that you are and who god says that you can become in him you know um i think it's amanda pitman uh was saying um that when you are talking bad about yourself when you are thinking negatively about yourself when you're telling yourself you can't do that you can't achieve that you can't be whole you can't be complete you you will never be um you will never be good enough you will never do that you will never achieve that you are saying those things about god why because christ lives inside of us god lives inside of us you know because we have him living inside of us then we are one with him and when you're talking bad about yourself you're talking bad about god because we are one with him then if if god is able if god is um powerful if there is nothing impossible with god if with god all things are possible if god is great and if god is good and if god is awesome then why are you saying that you are not if god is good and is great and he lives inside of you then that means that you're also great that means that there is you can do whatever you set your mind to do that that means that you are well able to, to do and to become all that he has called you to become so what are you looking at are you looking at the truth are you looking at people or are you looking at the word of god are you looking at the truth so where is your focus so today i want you to ask yourself what am i looking at if i have these negative thoughts in my head what have i been looking at what have i been fixating my eyes on who have i been looking to to feed my heart and to feed my soul some of us we are always like this with news you know whatever is trending whatever has come up like whatever it is then you are always in the know one thing that i have i stopped doing <laughs> is watching news because i realized that watching news can actually get you depressed like you're always there the 7 p.m news you're always there the one PM news you're always there like you're always feeding on whatever is happening in the world whatever is happening and it is not bad to, to be in the know but I stopped watching news 
and sister has stopped watching news by the way there's nothing that you cannot find me like sad about to do what happened to do what is happening i have restrained myself as a way of um guarding my heart and guarding my thoughts because i want to think positively i want to think i want to see god's goodness in the world and to see god's not to ignore not to be ignorant of whatever is happening maybe i will google or you know i will i will hear that there's something that is happening and i will be interested in knowing but most of the time i am not always there i am not always on the news and that actually can help you to guard your heart and to guard your thoughts against um, against anxiety and against depression. So some of you just have to stop watching a lot of news. So number two, are you grateful? Are you grateful? Because I realize that you cannot be grateful for the things that you have and then be sorry about yourself at the same time. You cannot be here being sorry about you and, and what you don't have and you're looking at um, you know how life is ugly and bad and all that and at the same time you're grateful to God about what he's given you no you know negative thoughts and gratitude they don't go hand in hand so if you're looking to overcome negative thoughts be grateful sit down with your pen and paper journal and just be grateful write the things that you're grateful in life about find something to be grateful for a, a, a leaking roof is better than being homeless thank god for the roof over your head thank god for water that you have in your house thank god for electricity thank god for the shoes that you have the food that you eat find things that you are grateful for and you will start to change the way you think and the way you see and the way you talk to yourself all right number four Number three, I think, yes, number three question that I want you to ask yourself is who am I hanging out with? Who is surrounding me? Who is in my circle? Because sometimes we will be surrounded by negative people and then we will become negative also ourselves. The Bible says that bad company corrupts good morals. It is impossible for you to hang out with a negative person and you will be a positive person. All right? So maybe you're hanging out with people at, at your workplace who are always saying, you know, negative things about life, negative things about people, negative things about you, and you're always listening to them. You will never be positive, you know? So what I want you to do today is maybe you are surrounded with people who are always negative and there's no way, maybe it's in your job, it's your workplace, you cannot be able to detach yourself from that environment. What I want you to do is to challenge those thoughts. Whenever they are negative, whenever they speak negative things, challenge those thoughts. Challenge those talks. Um, or maybe they are talking about your boss and how he is bad and always moody. Challenge that and maybe say, maybe you don't know what he is going through. Maybe you don't know his problems and what he has to deal with. Do not go with the flow. Challenge those thoughts. Challenge those um talks maybe people will come and they will start talking about how the economy is bad and how there's no money and how they challenge that and say well i have a provider it is god who provides for me it is god who who provides for all of my needs i know things are looking bad but it is god who sustains us it is god that keeps us even if you don't say out it out loud say it within yourself say it to your heart Number four, are you stressed out? Because sometimes you can be stressed out and then you will start thinking bad things and bad thoughts in your head. You know, I realized that when I spend a lot of time on social media, I would be so stressed out. And then, you know, because I have a, an online ministry, I do online ministry, I do YouTube and Instagram and all that. And I'm always um, there encouraging and, and maybe looking for inspiration and all that. And I found out that if I spend a lot of time there, sometimes I would get so stressed out and all I need is a nap. When I go and get a nap, because when I'm stressed out, I am always rushing out and 
you know whoever it is that is around me my husband or i am angry i'm not feeling good about myself and all i need is a nap so when i go and take a nap i am feeling so much better about myself when i wake up you know i'm feeling so much better about life when i wake up so maybe all you need is a nap or are you hungry because when you're hungry <laughs> you will be tempted to be angry so are you just hungry and you need food you know like a baby when a baby is hungry um and they are throwing tantrums and they are you know crying and all that and once they feed once they eat once they once their mother gives them something to eat they calm down so maybe you're hungry maybe you're stressed out just go take a nap just go take a good meal you know take some time off from social media take some time off for yourself all right take some time to feel yourself to fill your cup all right so negative thoughts will come they will always come because negative thoughts are from the devil they are not from god all right so the devil will always try to throw these negative thoughts at you it is your responsibility your response ability you have that response ability to do whatever it is that you want to do with those thoughts it is like when a bird is flo flying over your head you cannot stop a bird from flying over your head but you can stop it from uh building a nest over your head so you have that ability to respond to those negative thoughts they will be thrown at you but you have the responsibility to know what to do with them whether you want to keep them in your heart or you you will defeat them and overcome them so today i want you to know that your life is like a container your heart is a container and whatever it is that you allow to fill you that is how that you will be full of that thing all right so if you allow negative thoughts to come and stay in your heart then that is what you will be full of negativity you will talk negatively you will see yourself negatively you will talk to people negatively all right and one thing about um being positive is that you will always attract positive people you will always attract people who will who will want to know you're always very motivated and and positive how do you stay positive how do you stay motivated and you will tell them i am i was not always like that it is christ that changed my life it is christ that changed the way i see things it is christ that changed me so people will positive people will always be attracted to you so i hope that these questions will help you to do an introspect and evaluate yourself uh, get to the root cause of your negative thoughts and eventually be able to defeat them and overcome them thank you so much for watching to the very end if you are blessed by this video encouraged by this video please make sure you subscribe it helps the channel to grow and also be sure to check me out on instagram where i'm sharing a lot of encouraging personalized messages that are going to help you in your faith and in your walk with christ uh, so check me out as antoni wanjiru i am Anne. my husband is tony it's just a cute way of joining our names so let's connect let's talk and i would also love to hear your thoughts and your comments about this video about this topic in the comment section down below so leave with me your biggest takeaway in the comment section and i will see you in